Hey guys, John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here with a review for you of the Samsung Mythic. This is going to run you $199 on a two year contract after rebates for AT&T Wireless. So let's talk about the good and then we'll get to the bad and then we'll get to a conclusion. So this is running Samsung's TouchWiz interface that I've demonstrated before in countless videos. What that means, it's got a widget bar across the left hand side. You can drag those widgets right off onto your home screen. Now as I've lamented in previous Samsung TouchWiz phone uh, reviews, there's not enough screen real estate on the phone for all the widgets. They take up a lot of space. Well, Samsung's fixed that with the Mythic. They now give you access to three home screens. So you get much more space to put all of your widgets. And the functionality that you're getting with those widgets, saying widgets quite a bit, is what you'd expect. There's a Facebook one, there's a message one, there's a missed calls one, there's one for all your notifications, and then there's even one for your friend's birthdays. So you're not getting functionality that's sort of new or anything that you're not used to, you're just getting that functionality in a new um, widget-based interface with three home screens. So one of the other good things about the device is the keyboard. The keyboard is quite easy to use. Um, I've been a big fan of the TouchWiz-esque keyboards on other Samsung devices, and that holds true to the Mythic. It's very simple to use. It actually works quite well. Uh, one of the other positives of the device is that it takes advantage of AT&T's new TV service. So you can watch mobile TV on the go. And it's not that mobile TV that you're used to where it streams it over the 3G service. It actually uses a new sort of Qualcomm service. It's, you're getting actual channels and you're getting really nice quality. It's not pixelated like you'd expect. And this is, of course, a 3G phone, but it uses sort of a separate radio for that. So let's talk about the bad. I'm not the biggest fan of resistive touchscreens, and I've mentioned that in the past. And the Samsung Mythic uses a resistive touchscreen. And not only does it use a resistive touchscreen, it probably uses the worst resistive touchscreen I have ever used on a mobile phone. The screen is extremely unresponsive. It's very inaccurate. Scrolling around through context, trying to scroll through web pages, which I'll get to in a minute, was a tedious, arduous task, and not something I could ever see myself doing on a daily basis. Samsung in the past has done a pretty decent job with resistive screens, and I'm not sure why that didn't translate over to the Mythic. Perhaps it's a new vendor or some sort of new resistive technology, but straight up just doesn't work. And for that reason alone, I've got a very difficult time in good conscience telling you to go pick up the Mythic. Um, given its price point and feature set, I just don't think it justifies it. It is a phone, however, and it's got to make phone calls. The reception was quite good. I was able to get strong bars everywhere I went. I didn't have any dropped calls. So the radio in here is quite good, and it may be due to also due to at and strong service uh, where I live in Southern California. Navigation is done through a series of icons across the bottom. I'll show you what that looks like. You've got your dial, your contact, and your menu. And there's some new features here in the TouchWiz. You can control your menu a little bit more, and you can scroll around. You can see i got to push really hard in order to scroll. So overall, it is not an enjoyable experience and not a phone that I can recommend to you, unfortunately. The HTML browser is barely functional, and it's barely functional because you can't move around on it due to the poor resistive touchscreen. So if I got to rank this on a 1 to 5 scale, it gets a 2. It only gets a 2 stars because the call quality was quite good and the speakerphone was loud. Everything else, not very good. The 3.2 megapixel camera takes garbage pictures, even with autofocus and an LED flash. I'd put this one probably towards the bottom of your list. There's a lot better phones in AT&T's lineup, uh, especially this holiday season. So anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed. Uh, for exclusive content, check me out at Twitter. And for all your tech news, be sure to check out technobuffalo.com. I'm John Rettinger with a review of the Samsung Mythic, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.